our changing earth erosion by sea waves ice and wind erosion by sea waves sea waves affect regions in coastal areas if sea waves are strong they cause erosion if they are gentle they do deposition land that pokes out into the sea is called headland when the sea waves erode the base of the headland it forms vertical slopes called sea cliffs rocks develop cracks as waves keep hitting them the cracks become wider as waves keep hitting them the waves can carve out a hole in the rock this is called a sea cave after a sea cave is formed the waves still keep hitting and eroding the rock it can erode through the cave completely then you have a sea arch after a sea arch is formed the waves can erode the top of the arch off then you are left with a sea stack erosion by sea waves gives us many amazing landforms near the sea deposition by sea waves the sea has a lot of material in it it has alluvium that the rivers bring in from the mountains it has sediments from the deep sea it has finely powdered rock material that the waves have eroded the sea waves deposit this fine material on the shore this deposition forms beaches chennai has the longest beach in india named the marina beach sand gets deposited along the sides of the headlands over time these sand deposits extend over long distances and form a bund this is called a sandbar sandbars sometimes also form a group of islands they can protect the coasts from deadly tsunami waves the water inside a sandbar is known as a lagoon large waves do not form in a lagoon water in a lagoon is said to be brackish that means it is more salty than regular sea water there are a lot of lagoons in kerala think and discuss how do sea caves sea arches and sea stacks form how are beaches formed erosion by ice in very cold regions water freezes to form ice sometimes ice gathers and piles up like this on mountains when this ice begins to move it acts like a river this is called a glacier a glacier is a slow moving river of ice when a glacier moves it erodes the mountain that it's moving on it erodes the sides too the mountain then looks like a huge amphitheater such formations are known as cirques cirque is a french for circus it does in fact look like the seating arrangement of a circus sometimes cirques form side by side then the edge of the mountain in between looks like a razor sharp knife edge this is called an arte if many artes are formed around one mountain it makes the mountain look like a horn matterhorn mountain is like that erosion by ice so horns are formed by artes artes are formed by cirques cirques are formed by glaciers glaciers are frozen rivers of ice the glaciers 
create big depressions as they erode. When ice melts, these get filled with water and become lakes. Glaciers carry a lot of eroded material with them. It is called glacial moraine. It is deposited at some place. Think and discuss. What is a glacier? What is a cirque? How are glacial lakes formed? What is glacial moraine? Erosion by wind. The wind is all around us. But the effect of wind erosion is mostly seen in desert regions. In the desert regions, it is very hot in the day and very cold at night. So, as it becomes so hot and so cold, the rocks become weak and crumble. When rocks crumble, they form sand. That is how there is so much sand in the desert regions. Deserts are very windy too. Winds blow at almost 100 kilometers per hour there. The sand gets blown into the air along with the wind. The strong wind picks up loose sand, dust and pebbles and blows it far away. This is known as a sandstorm. When this happens, there is a hole in the ground where the wind picked up the sand and pebbles from. This is known as a deflation hollow. The Katara depression in Egypt is the biggest deflation hollow in the world, measuring 18,000 square kilometers. When the sandstorm wind slows down, the sand it carries is deposited on the ground. The sand is deposited in low hill-like structures. These are called sand dunes. Barchans are crescent-shaped sand dunes. They can be almost 70 meters high. You can see them in Rajasthan. Barchans have a gentle slope in the direction of the wind and steeper slopes on the other side. Safe dunes seem to have a sharp edge on the top. They are low in height but a few kilometers long. The Rab al Khali Desert in Morocco has a lot of safes. You can see them in this satellite image. Safe dunes can be seen in the Thar Desert too. Tall rocks in the desert come in the way of the winds filled with sand. The wind filled with sand moves all around the rock. It actually acts like sandpaper and grazes the rock. But here's what makes it interesting. The rock is not grazed equally all over. Why so? The bigger particles of sand and pebbles are heavier. So these bigger particles are in the lower part of the wind. They erode the bottom part of the rock. They erode more strongly. The bottom part becomes narrow. The smaller particles of sand are lighter. The smaller particles are in the upper part of the wind. They erode the upper part of the rock. They erode lightly. So, the top part of the rock stays broader. The difference in the erosion makes the rock take a strange shape. Such a rock is called a mushroom rock. Sometimes the wind carries light sand particles over great distances. These particles get deposited in extensive plains known as loess. These lowest plains are quite huge and quite far away from the desert. Check out the distance between the Gobi Desert and the lowest plains. The lowest plains are also almost 
half the size of the Gobi Desert. So, they are quite huge too. Think and discuss. What is a sandstorm? How are sand dunes formed? How are mushroom rocks formed? What are Lewis Plains?